What's going on people? My name is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a overview of VSVC free video editing software. If you guys have seen the biggest video on my channel or any of the other free video editing software series on the channel, you know VSVC is one of the best free video editing softwares on the internet. I've endorsed it countless times and uh, they basically just got a big new upgrade to the software which gives you four amazing new features. There's two specifically which are the best ones that I'm going to focus in on. Uh, the, the, the best for the general video editor, right? So I want to show the, show those to you guys, the, uh, the, the green screening tool and the, uh, the perfect slow motion. Literally, you can take footage that's even shot uh, low FPS, right? Even like 24 frames a second and, and, and with their special um, optical flow slow motion. It looks really smooth. It looks really smooth. We're going to test both these out. Also, they just added some motion tracking features further. Uh, some kind of face motion tracking. You can do, you can do some cool stuff where, uh, you know, you can put different sort of faces on sort of like Instagram story stuff, right? Um, and also some sort of particle and overlay effects. That sort of stuff I've showed you on the screen is, uh, is available in the editor. But the two that I want to showcase to you guys, which I think are the most useful to the general consumer, um, you guys, is the slow motion and the green screen. Slow motion is literally amazing. I'm jumping over to the uh, to, to, to the editor itself, and um, I've actually got two clips right here: the green screen and a uh, a model, which uh, was from a shoot last year before coronavirus. And um, basically, I'm gonna slow her down, and we're also gonna mess around with the green screen, right? But we're giving away five pro keys. If you guys want the full version of VSDC, comment your email down below, or your Instagram name, or your Twitter name, whatever, something that I can directly message you on. And uh, we're gonna be giving five of you guys a full free code uh, for VSDC, get the full version. On the screen right now, VSDC, I wanna bring in the model first, and I wanna mess around with the slow motion. So VSDC, try and make it as frictionless as possible to edit. It's a drag and drop setup. You can import the clips a little bit more of an official way. However, I'm a bit of a drag and drop guy, uh, I'm drag and dropping my stuff in all day long. Now, this is literally a model just walking down the street. So I'm actually just going to kind of click along until she starts walking because I feel as though slow-mo walk is going to make a, a good demonstration. But I'm literally just going to go ahead and tap this one right here. Up here, it's going to split the clip in two. And, uh, you know, I can actually just trim this down to a position that I kind of want to start it at. And I think, you know what, I'm just going to let her walk it out for probably around like seven seconds, something like that, right? Um, and I'm going to chop it again. I'm just going to chop this down just because the optical flow can get a little bit intense on the computer. And um, essentially, we want just a nice, short, concise bit to, uh, to use. And then we can go over here to video effects. Very, 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 very simple. And what we can actually go ahead and do is to uh, special effects, which was the, uh, the face landmarks, not the face landmarks. What we want to do is actually go over here. And uh, now that we've chopped that down nice and simple, it's very simple. All we can actually do is go to our properties window. And there's no even effect to add in, uh, in, in video effects or anything. We just go to property window and we go to speed down here and we change it to 25. Now, the only specific of this is when you click the drop down menu, the reframing mode is the absolute thing that sort of defines this. Now, real quick, let me go ahead and just give this a play. Um, Oh, let, let, let me actually go ahead and mute the uh, the sound because it sounded a little bit insane to, to be totally honest, right? But if I actually go ahead and uh, and play this right now, you could see it's very choppy. Like it's slow motion, sure, but it's very, very, very choppy indeed. And it's definitely not something that we want to put into a, a proper production. Now with the click of one button with this new optical flow mode, you literally just have to click simple reframing to optical flow. And honestly, what you get is a much, much smoother feel. Now, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is quickly render this and you can actually just see the full version. All right, export is complete. And the only reason I went ahead and did that is the optical flow is very intense on the computer. My computer costs thousands and even that lags a little bit. So I wanted you guys to see this properly um, and, uh, you know, without any lag, basically. And just like that, you go from this absolutely disgusting, glitchy, choppy situation to near perfect slow motion. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of craziness around the, uh, you know, the arms wouldn't move, a little bit of glitchness. That's down to the footage, and also you can mess around with the settings a little bit, I believe. But overall, look at this quality right here. It's next level uh, slow motion. And um, I mean, it's literally by ticking one button. You go from the normal to the optical flow, and, uh, and this is literally perfect slow motion. It's ideal. And you can take footage that's not even high frame rate and, and turn it into solid slow motion. Obviously, you have a little bit of of a of glitch as you could see right there but that can be ironed out by just messing around with the clip the placement um or, i mean the uh, the selection in the clip and also just playing with the settings a little bit but overall that's looking solid right there optical flow 10 out of 10 genuinely amazing i mean vsdc 
round of applause. Honestly, for a free video editing software to have nailed slow motion like this, VSDC might have some of the best slow motion in any free video editing software on the internet. That is just a fact, right? I haven't seen better slow motion. Um, that's just amazing. They've smashed it. Next up, the green screen. Now, I've got some kind of random funny footage of me testing out a green screen before a shoot. Uh, the background's highly creased. Like, this is not how you'd want a green screen normally. Um, and I sort of just looking around and, uh, and trying to test the green screen before a, uh, a client came over and we shot some stuff. So I want to mess around with this clip absolutely next. Now let's actually literally go ahead and just delete that. Um, thank you to the model. She was very useful. And uh, I'm now going to import the green screen clip. Let's, uh, let's do exactly what we did before where we're actually just going to go ahead and uh, trim this one down. I'm going to go to edit and uh, I'm actually going to go to editor and uh, go ahead and tap the, uh, the chop tool. That's going to split that in half. Delete one side, drag the other bad boy over. And um, let's literally just go to the beginning. And what I want to do is go up here to video effects, transparency, and um, background remover. There you go. I knew we lost it for a second. Background remover, go ahead and tap OK. And uh, you'll notice this does a, uh, a basic level background remove, right? As we can see, if we play it, um, the background is gone. However, there's like a little green line around me. Do you see the green line, right? Like it, it ain't looking a thousand percent amazing, right? And, and oh shit, look at that. As soon as, as soon as something else happens, randomly the background becomes visible and you can play with this. Don't get me wrong. Like if you go to, uh, to some of the settings and actually just mess around with it a little bit, you can get rid of that. And this one's the free version, right? And this is actually where our, where our giveaway is going to come into, right? There is a free version and a paid version by UV by YUV is completely free by HSL. And I'll show it to you in a minute is genuinely better. And that's only available in the paid version. Now, if you guys comment down your email or your Instagram or your Twitter, whatever, comment something that I can reach you guys personally down below. And I'm going to be giving five of you a free VSDC pro key, which means you guys will be able to input the pro key over here in activation and you'll have the absolute full version. So five of you guys will get that for free. Um, some of you guys already have the full version of ESDC because it's a solid editor and uh, essentially I'm going to showcase it to you. So this is the free version right here. We can play around with the, uh, with, with the effects a little bit to sort of iron out the background, but overall, um, depending on uh, <laughs> what am I even doing? This is hella random, um, but overall, depending on the um, sort of the quality of the green screen, for example, mine was highly creased. You might still get a little bit of green or a little bit of tinge. As you see right here, it's looking okay but the green sort of comes in a little bit later. Now, if you can get the full version, or if five of you will have it down below, I'm gonna give you guys free codes. The HSL is essentially just a much cleaner version. Now, all we've done is switch to HSL, right? And if I go ahead and play this, we have completely removed the green screen. And if my calculations are correct, we shouldn't get any spike. Now there's a little bit coming through there, don't get me wrong. What we could do is we could tap this bad boy and, uh, and just bring it in a little bit, right? If you actually go ahead and tap the, uh, the three dots, you can get a line where you can sort of fully tweak stuff. That's obviously far too much. That's not enough. If we just pull this bar up a little bit until all the green's gone, you see we more or less iron out the green and I'm doing some crazy stuff. I stick my tongue out and then I start coughing. Don't worry, this was before Corona. There's no diseases going on, I promise you. But overall, those right there are the other uh, two versions of the green screen. At the end of the day, obviously the, um, the HSL is better, 100%. They obviously have to have some incentive to upgrade to the paid version, but... If we think about it, um, the, U, the YUV is actually completely usable. And if you just mess around with it a little bit, like I said, there's certain bits that come through, uh, but maybe you could run it through twice. There's, there's ways to, uh, to go ahead and utilize the, uh, the free version 100%. And depending on your green screen, mine was very um, cluttered essentially, which is not good. You want a nice, even flat surface, which is all the same color. Uh, but overall, um, you can actually remove stuff. In fact, like if we go to where it pops up and we just go ahead and select that version of green, it's looking like the reality here is the reason this is happening is because there's two different colors of green. You see how this is a different shade of green down here. It's darker green and the shade of green up here is a lighter green. Now that's the reason why you want a nice one color green all across the background. If you guys are using digital uh, green screens, this would work perfect. But overall, those are the two best effects in my opinion. And those are two things that are worth signing up to VSDC. If you guys want a free paid pro version key, Comment down your email, your Instagram, something, say this is my Twitter, whatever, and I will send you 
five of you a free code um, to the paid pro version, which means you get access to everything. Alternatively, you can go ahead and rinse this editing software for completely free. Top line of the description, link down below. And uh, overall, these are some amazing effects. The, uh, the, the, the slow-mo genuinely impressed me massively. The green screen, very cool as well, although to fully utilize it, you do have to pay for the pro version. At the end of the day, they have to incentivize people somehow. And uh, also, the things I didn't even fully cover, which, um, I mean... At the end of the day, I'll edit on some, some footage of it, but they also have some motion tracking of faces, which is awesome. Like I said, some very uh, Instagram story-esque type of effects going on there. And they also have some particle effects and overlays and stuff like that that have also recently been added, the particles especially. But overall, that's the video right there, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm a Jack. Merch down below, you already know the drill. And also, uh, comment your Instagram, your email, whatever down below. Something that I can reach you personally. And I'll be giving five of you guys a paid, full free, full code for VSDC. Somehow that's a weird one to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in an upcoming video. Peace out and um, enjoy the weekend. I believe today is Thursday. Peace.